In the midst of death, life persists. In the midst of untruth, truth persists. In the midst of darkness, light persists. My Gandhi collection is the most extensive collection of photographs, films and audio of Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi in private hands. This collection of rare photographs together with negatives, bundles of contact prints, 8 and 16 mm films, commercially produced postcards and other reproductions, along with other material, is a unique documentary record of one of the most influential figures of the 20th century. The collection can be separated in five parts – audio, photographs and images, films and video, writings and miscellaneous items. The audio part consists of radio and other programs on Mahatma Gandhi, as well as his own speeches in Hindi and English. Some of the vinyl records are very rare and so are the CDs on the Indian Underground Radio the so-called Congress Radio of 1942. The photographs and images part consists of nearly 20,000 repronegatives and over 16,000 modern photographs which present about 5,000 different motifs of Mahatma Gandhi, which form approximately 90% of all existing photographs of Gandhi. A large part of those 5,000 motifs is also covered by over 5,000 old and nearly 600 vintage photographs which have been developed within five years after the photograph has been taken. A part of 2024 by 36 mm repro slides of Gandhi, the collection also has 100 glass positives of 8 by 8 centimeters, which were produced by Gandhi's main photographer, his nephew Kanu Gandhi in 1969. Also, Gandhi's spiritual successor, Vinoba Bhave, is represented in the collection with 300 original photographs and 45 slides. Furthermore, all scans of the photographs can be found on over 100 CDs. Five copies of three different photo exhibitions on Gandhi, with 50 A3 photographs each, form also part of this section. The films and video section consists of 229 videotapes and 252 DVDs containing films, footage and TV reports about Mahatma Gandhi and India's independence movement. 278 DVDs are on in India. Surely, the highlight of this section are the original films. Three 8mm films by Kanu Gandhi present Gandhi and his associates at Sevagram Ashram or nearby places. Two 16mm films are about Vinoba Bhave. One 16mm film presents the distribution of Gandhi's ashes in India. One 16mm film by Kanu Gandhi presents a dance performance at a Gandhi ashram and one 16mm film has miscellaneous content. The writings part consists of 390 vintage, old and modern books on Gandhi and 30 books on India. 17 CDs carry an extensive correspondence and newspaper archive about Mahatma Gandhi. Seven old original newspapers and magazines report about Gandhi. One palm leaf letter carries a letter to Gandhi in Malayalam. One box file carries the entire Reginald Reynolds and Louis Fisher archive. Two poster exhibitions on Gandhi of 40 by 60 and 60 by 80 centimeters complete this section. The miscellaneous part consists of nearly 3,000 old postcards and photo prints of Mahatma Gandhi, as well as 3,000 philatelistic items such as stamps, first day covers, postcards, and also coins, bills, and philatelistic literature about Gandhi from about 120 countries. In total, about 600 children's paintings of the drawing competition Mahatma Gandhi as I see him and 70 jigsaw puzzles of Gandhi also form part of this section. Furthermore, it has 26 box files with addresses, photos and information about Gandhi institutions in India and abroad as well as 20 t-shirts with Gandhi motifs 
and 13 oil paintings of Mahatma Gandhi, Nelson Mandela, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., His Holiness the Dalai Lama, and the subject, Peace. A rare sand painting portrait of Mahatma Gandhi of 48 by 62 centimeters, as well as a wooden frame glass mirror in shape of Mahatma Gandhi's head of circa 80 by 60 centimeters, complete this section. All material is also available in digital form. This digital archive forms part of the collection, too, in form of an external hard disk, and includes rights for personal non-commercial home use. How did this collection come about? In over 35 years of systematic search for yet unknown material on and by Mahatma Gandhi, I visited numerous associates, contemporaries, photographers, collectors and relatives of Gandhi, all over India and also abroad. I recorded first-hand information about Gandhi and India's independence movement and helped safeguarding treasured films, letters, photographs, negatives, documents and artifacts. The collection was assembled by me from the mid-1980s onwards, when I began to travel India widely in the footsteps of Mahatma Gandhi. Part of the material has been presented to me as remuneration for my services and others I bought. Some of the material has been used by me and Gandhi served to promote Mahatma Gandhi's legacy, but a lot of the material is yet unpublished. The entire collection has been packed into 47 cardboard boxes of 60 by 35 by 35 centimeters each. The total weight is approximately 700 kilograms. For further details of the collection, kindly refer to www.thegandicollection.org.